Hello, my name is Hannah Hurdle, and I'm the Library E-Learning Specialist at Ottenheimer Library here at UA Little Rock. And in this video, I'm going to be going over the Affordable Learning Resource Science Online, which is a database available for faculty and students. Science Online is one of InfoBase's acclaimed databases. It promotes STEM research and learning with elements that encourage students to find the information they require, evaluate it, and apply it to their learning. Science Online is supported by the Arkansas State Traveler Project, and the project was made possible by the Institute of Museum and Library Science. Science Online is broken down into different features, which include e-learning modules, video and animations, interactive experiments, diagrams, as well as featured people. Now I'm gonna take you through the database Science Online so you can see how to navigate it, view the type of content found there, as well as see what resources are available to assist student learning. So let me share my screen. So you can access Science Online through the library's website, uaor.edu slash library. Go to the databases tab, type in Science Online, and it's the first database that comes up. So like I said earlier, Science Online is uh, broken down into different features. So we have our e-learning modules, and you can scroll through these and pick whichever one that you are interested in. So I'll go to Biomes of the Earth, and it's broken down into subtopics. So we have deserts, grasslands, lakes and rivers, oceans, tropical forests, wetlands. You have a bunch of different options, and then within those, you have even more options. So I'm going to do the future of wetlands. So now we get this article um, that gives you um, some information on the topic that you selected. It includes photos. It's broken down into different categories. So you have climate change and wetlands, wetland rehabilitation and conservation. They also um, provide like definitions for words that might not be familiar to students. So you can just, these are underlined. Um, and give you just more context to what they're talking about. It has conclusions, and then at the bottom, you can um, save the link to this um, article that you have selected. Let's scroll back up to the top. You can see that you can save the article, you can print it out, you can share it, so a URL, you can email it, embed it. Um, or share to Google Classroom. You can download the article. <clears throat> they have citations, so they have MLA, Chicago, Harvard, and APA, and you can export it to the different export tools or citation tools. It can be read aloud, so you have the option to either read it or the future of wetlands. listen to the audio recording. And then you can also save it to a Google Drive. So you have a bunch of different options about how to view it and save it. They have some record information. So the author, when it was published, when it was last, last updated, it's a book chapter. You have the table of contents. You have those definitions, which are these underlined words. All down. And then you also have tags, the so things that are related to this article. So we could go to ecosystems and it's gonna take you to articles, images, and videos related to ecosystems. So I'm gonna go back to home. So we also have featured videos and animations. You can either scroll through or click view all, and now you can see all of the videos that are available. I'm gonna go, let's go to black holes. Um, so here we have a video on black holes, and they have um, a transcript that goes along with the video. Um, you can add captions if you want. Again, it has that record information and a table of contents, that citation tool, the ability to share it and save it. And it also has, they all have these record links. For the interactive experiments, 
again, you can just scroll through and select whichever one that you're interested in. I'm going to go to Win Energy. So it will load. Most of them have like this little um, like introduction, materials, and instructions. And when you start it, you have the actual um, uh, interactive simulation. So uh, different instructions, but then you can kind of see, students can play around with this and see what this simulation would look like. Again, there's that URL, there's the record information and all those same tools with the videos and articles. I'm gonna see if I can find. So this, because so there's, this was fine, but they also, it has videos and it has animations. So there are featured diagrams. Let's go to components of water. So you can look at all the different diagrams that they have. So students can say these and view these to help them um, or assist them with learning. Just different ways to interact with similar concepts. So they could watch a video on chemical reactions. They could look at the diagram. They could see if there's an interactive experiment. Um, watch an animation. So there's a bunch of different ways that they can um, engage in their learning through Science Online. And then we also have featured people. So it's broken down into astronauts, biologists, engineers, inventors, astronomers, women in science, mathematicians. So there's a bunch of different people. And when you um, click on one of them, it's going to give you a list of the people in that category when they're born when they died and then what they do. So um, we have Hazel Bishop, who's an Amer American chemist and businesswoman. If we click on her, they have one article that's about her. So we can get some information on Hazel Bishop. Um, and if, they're, if they had some of her experiments or if there were some videos, then those would be options that you could click on as well. I'm gonna go back to home and that covers, we have science in the news. They have articles about things going on in the news regarding science. They have their topic centers. So we could go to marine science. And so there's, um, this is another way to access their articles. And then you can see marine science. So the, here are their articles, their videos and animate, animation. So this is how you can kind of like pick a topic and then be able to look at every feature that's on it. So articles, the videos, the experiments, the diagrams, the data, they have timelines as well. So that's another way to view um, content. And you can search the timelines, uh, edit the dates, things like that. You can also just, it's going to search for water. You can search for a topic. And here's where you could see, okay, there's articles on water, experiments, images and diagrams, and so forth. And you can also narrow your results on the side as well. Um, you can just browse by a topic. So you can browse their topic centers, their e-learning modules, and their resources. So say you don't have a topic you want, but you're looking for an experiment. Um, so you have different options that you can choose from. So there's a bunch of different ways to search in Science Online. They also have their curriculum tools. So they have some for students and for educators. So for students, they have their curriculum tool on citing sources. So this helps students learn about like how to properly cite source, what citation style you use, when they should cite, different kinds of styles of citations. There's also um, research topics. Um, so this can give them an idea of like, you know, I have no idea what I want my research topic to be on. They can come here and learn a little bit about a bunch of different topics. For uh, tools for educators, there's um, conducting experiments. So this goes over how to conduct an experiment with students. 
So they have those different tools. There's also different search options beyond what I showed you. So you can do an advanced search. Um, so you can search for record types, articles, experiments. You can use your keywords. You can view your search history. You can search by standards for all of the different standards. You can even search by grade. Sources link seems to be taking a minute, but you can also look at their sources. Like, seems to be taking a minute. There we go. So that is the basics of science online. So let me stop sharing my screen real quick. Science Online truly has so much to offer faculty, students, and course instruction. Not only does it promote the use of affordable learning content, but it also provides students with an alternate way to access class information in a cheaper and more accessible way. It also provides them different ways to engage with um, class content through the diagrams, videos, animations, experiments, articles, etc. If you would like more assistance with finding applicable content on Science Online for your courses, or would just like more information on locating affordable learning content for your courses in general, feel free to reach out to me at hfhurdle at uaor.edu or any of the other librarians in student success at Oppenheimer Library.